welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing another influencer um, review video. So this one is for the Refresh Vox Box, which was I think like a health and beauty type one. Um, so there was makeup, food, and just general like health stuff. Well, the first things that I'm going to show are these bags of chips. These ones are Beanitos, which I've never, they look familiar, but I don't think I've ever heard of them before. Um, they're basically, instead of corn chips, they're bean chips, which I personally hate beans. I really don't like beans. I don't like the texture. I don't like the taste. Um, but these were kind of weird. I didn't eat these ones. These are just the white bean with sea salt. They're kind of like something you would eat with chips, and, like for chips and salsa. And we haven't had salsa here, so I haven't been able to try these. Um, I don't think I will like them plain because I really don't like beans. The ones I did try were the nacho cheese ones because they're just kind of like flavored already. And yeah, they're just white bean chips with like nacho cheese. They don't taste like Doritos. They're more of like a Cheeto-y taste. They're very, very cheesy. Um, but they had a really nice crunch to them. You could definitely taste that they weren't corn chips. Like you could tell they were beans. But they had a nice texture to them, which is why I think these ones will be really good. I think I'm going to like these ones more with salsa because the salsa will kind of cover the bean taste. But you get that kind of crunchy, crumbly texture. Um, so yeah, these are... These are okay. Um, these ones, like I said, my boyfriend tried them too and he was kind of like, those are interesting. It says they're corn free, all natural, no trans fat, no preservatives, gluten free, no MSG, certified kosher, vegetarian, certified low glycemic, glycemic, uh, high fiber, lightly salted and cholesterol free. So yeah, I don't know. Those were interesting. I, I like the texture, I'm not a fan of beans, but I think the plain ones will be good with salsa. The last food item was this Skinny Girl Tasty Nutrition Bar, and um, first of all, I didn't know Skinny Girl made food. I knew that they made like liquor, and they make like mixes, like because I think I had some um, like uh, apple martini mix or something from them. Um, but apparently, they make nutrition bars, and I eat these all the time. I take them to work because I eat lunch before I leave for work and then I don't get home till after dinner so I kind of have that gap of time where I'm like really hungry and I'm really tempted to eat because we have like bar snacks like uh, chips and uh, trail mix and stuff and I'm like really tempted to eat it and I don't want to so I try to bring these and this is the chocolate peanut butter with sea salt which I'm a sucker for anything with peanut butter and chocolate. Um, and this one was really, really good. The sea salt on top was like a really nice touch. I've never seen these in the store before. I only see, I usually get the Luna bars or the Cliff bars. Um, but if I see these, I'll definitely pick these up um, instead of the Luna bars. Next, I have a couple health things that kind of go hand in hand with the food. And the first two are flossers. These are both by Dentec. I've been meaning to pick some of these up anyway for my boyfriend to try. I told him to get some of these uh, flosser things and he was like, man, I'll just get regular floss. And so I'm definitely going to make him try these. I haven't tried these yet, but I mean, they're flossers. These ones are the fun flossers and they're wild fruit flavored for kids. So I'll definitely give him these ones. And these are just the fresh mint normal ones with like the toothpick on the end. They're pointy. And this one I like because it has a resealable top. So you can throw this in your purse. And then because I'm like notorious for when I go out to eat, I'll get like the messiest things like corn on the cob and I've got like corn stuck in my teeth. Um, so yeah, I think these will definitely come in handy. And um, yeah. Then they included this Listerine Fresh Burst Pocket Packs. This is how the package looks, and it's these, the strips. You know, I haven't seen these in forever. I remember when these first came out, like, everybody had them. And I tried it a couple times, and, like, I am such a baby when it comes to things being, like, spicy or, like, burning my mouth. And I just remember them, like, burning like acid on my tongue. And so I never really, I never bought them myself. Um, but I tried one of these the other day, and I was kind of nervous, and I, like, put on my tongue... And it wasn't actually bad. It, like, it didn't burn, but it was very, very minty. It definitely had that, like, your whole throat was, like, freezing when you breathe type thing. Um, but I think normally, like, when I go out to dinner or something, I'll just chew gum or something afterward. But it doesn't really fully mask, you know, the food smell. So these, I think, would be really good. These, seriously, like, they just completely make your mouth minty and... Um, yeah, these are very, very strong and they would definitely get the job done. So if you're like out to dinner on a date or something, instead of having to like put gum in your mouth and then you're chewing gum, just throw one of these in when he's not looking and you're good to go. Then they threw in this, which I haven't tried this yet, but it's the Manuka Honey Peel-Off Mask from Montagne Jeunesse. It looks like a French brand. I think it's a French brand. Yes, it is a French brand. Um, and I can kind of read this. 
but I'm not gonna butcher it. So we're just gonna say it is a peel off mask um, with Manuka honey and jasmine. And I haven't tried it yet, like I said, but it's just a peel off mask. Um, and it's just like a single one. I don't really like masks. Peel off ones I guess are okay, but I, I'm not a huge mask person because I hate washing my face in a sink and usually when you do a mask, you have to sit there and like wash your face. I'm, I'm gonna try this at some point. I just, I don't know, I don't paper myself enough, I guess, like that. I just don't, just, I don't usually take the time to do masks, so I don't know. We shall see uh, if I ever get to use this, but if you like peel off masks, here's a new one for you to try. Um, yeah, so that's what it looks like. The next thing they included was this uh, L'Occitane Light Comforting Cream, and it's a basically a moisturizer. Um, I think, I've done some research on this because I wasn't really sure what I was using. When it comes to makeup, I'll pretty much try anything, but when it comes to skincare, I try to be really careful about what I put on my face. Um, so I wanted to, you know, see what I was using. I didn't know if this was like a cheap brand or a really nice brand. This is just an 8 mil bottle, which is actually a good amount in here. The small one is $5 and the big one is 50 milliliters and that one is $28. So this thing is $5. So that's kind of expensive, I would say. Um, cause my normal moisturizer is way bigger than this and it's like $9.50. It's like 10 bucks for the whole thing. I know they have other types. This is the light comforting cream. They also do, I think like a regular one and a heavy one, depending on, you know, what you need it for. Um, so this, I definitely used like not before bed for, before bed. I kind of just use my normal moisturizer cause it's really like creamy and it just, I don't know. It's just nice overnight. Um, but this one, because it is sort of like higher end or like a better, I don't know, a better brand than just like Neutrogena. Um, it really does like soak into your skin. It's not greasy at all. Not that my normal one is like greasy, but it definitely like if I put it on and then put foundation over top, the foundation will kind of move around throughout the day. Um, whereas this, like, it, it sinks immediately in. It's very thin, but it's still very moisturizing, and it just really, like, it just soaks in. If you just let it sit for, like, 30 seconds, you know, your skin just feels rejuvenated. It doesn't feel like you've got lotion on, um, which is really nice. So, um, yeah, I was really impressed with this, and I do like using this. I use it d during the day underneath my foundation, um, like, in the morning when I wash my face. I'll put this on because I don't like that dry feeling. And then I put my primers and everything on and I have it on and today and it's yeah my foundation everything's staying on pretty well um, so I do really like this and I think $28 for 50 milliliters that's like two ounces that's a pretty good price I would say because this is only five so that's not too bad um, and it's just a really nice like day moisturizer so um, I was really really impressed with this the last thing that they included aside from like coupons and pamphlets and stuff was this. This was like the whole reason that I wanted to get this box. Um, normally, like getting these boxes, it's a surprise, but for some reason this time they posted on Instagram everything that was gonna be in the boxes. And when I saw this, I was like, what the heck? And I immediately started looking up YouTube reviews. It comes in a weird package like this because it does have the applicator with it. Um, I had never heard of this before. I'd never seen it before. And then I saw it on their website and I was like, what the heck? It's the... <laughs> It's a ultra smooth hair smoothing foundation plus applicator. This is the applicator. It's basically like a silicone uh, pasty type thing. Um, it looks, when I was looking at the reviews on, the, on YouTube, it looked maybe kind of like stiff, but no, it's pretty flimsy. It's pretty thin. It like crumples up into a ball. It's really thin. Um, and it has this weird like nipple thing on the front. I don't really know what they were doing with this. I don't know, <laughs> and I'm, I'm just confused. Like it didn't, like, okay, so I think facial hair and like smoothing down your face hair is becoming a thing as in like in the makeup community, like people's facial hair is like starting to bug them and it's becoming like a thing that's noticeable now. I don't really notice that kind of thing and like everybody has hair on their face and to me it's never bothered me and it still doesn't bother me, I honestly don't care. Um, but a lot of people get really, really aggravated when their face hairs like poke out and so they made this foundation and it's supposed to smooth down the hairs using this thingy and you're supposed to like smooth it like in the direction of your hairs. First of all, this, if you look at this and think it's going to blend your foundation, you must have never put foundation on in your life. Like, because this, this, just looking at it, I was like, that's not going to do diddly shit. Every review that I watched, they were like... The first swipe, every single person goes, what the heck? Just talking about the foundation, um, I could see how they tried to do that, like make it smooth down your hairs. Um, maybe if you have like really long, 
thin hairs, it would work, but my hairs are very short. Um, they're still really thin and like really blonde because I'm blonde, but they don't like, if I glue it down, it's, they're going to pop back up. They're just too small for anything to hold them down. Do you know what I mean? Unless I put a ton of this on, which this isn't even my color. So if I put too much of this on, it's going to look bad. Um, but, uh, I tried it on my hand and it still didn't work. Like the hair still poked up. Um, but what this does is when you put it on, it's really, really sticky. It's really like, it feels like you have like glue on your face or something. Like it is really sticky. So I can kind of see the idea they were going with, but I definitely think you'd have to put this on with a different kind of applicator and then maybe go in with a second layer with this and like really smooth it down because this, like just these on their own, like it would take you a year to blend in your entire face with this because you'd have to put such a small amount and like really blend it. Because if you put too much on this, it just like smears on your face. And as a normal foundation, I guess it's okay. It is really sticky. So you have, I, ha I have to set it at least with a powder because like, I mean, I set everything with a powder anyway, but I definitely have to set this with a powder because it's just so sticky. Um, but it gets really oily on my face. Like I'm one of those people who I have like one foundation that I can use and I have to use that every day or else my face gets really, really oily and greasy and gross. So I wasn't really expecting to love this as far as being able to wear it day to day, but I wanted to see if it did like smooth down facial hairs. And I haven't seen yet that it's done that and none of the reviews that I watched did that either. Um, so maybe we're just all doing it wrong. I think maybe CoverGirl needs to come out with a video showing us how they intended us to use this because I honestly don't... I don't know. I just think this is very gimmicky and yeah. So that's all I have to say about that. I'm going to stop talking about it. I've been talking about it for like 10 minutes now. I think this was kind of part of the Vox Box also. A dollar off Orgain, um, an Orgain product, which Orgain is like a smoothie health type brand and they do like smoothies and little like cartons and then like powders and stuff. I've not seen this in any store so I haven't been able to use this. Yeah, they also included a free shake coupon. So that was everything that I got in the box. I was really excited to get this one because it was just a lot of stuff that I, I'm interested in. I love food. I love, you know, taking care of my teeth and I love makeup and stuff like that. So it was just a really nice box to get. So if you guys are interested in any of these products, I'll be putting all the info down below. Basically everything that's on this card, I'll just put it down um, in the down bar. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video and yeah, bye.